and welcome. Today I want to work with automatic blinking for metahumans using additive animation. We begin today inside Unreal Engine 5.1. I have a metahuman loaded into the scene and it just has a plane behind it. I have hidden the body, but the body is still there. Also, I have just one camera and a basic lighting rig. What I want to do now is quickly create a level sequence and I'm going to call this make animation because I'm going to use it to make some blinking animation for my metahuman. First, I add my metahuman to the sequencer and I want to delete the body control rig and select our spatial control board. What I'm going to do is key this by hand for the time being. So I'm going to search for blink. Here we are. And what I'm going to do now is create a series of blinks of varying degrees across this timeline. And so I will create a key and I'm here I want to set this to around maybe 0.9. Let's have a look. I think for this particular metahuman, it's probably better to set this to 0.8. If you look at how the eyes are closed, it just looks a little strange. There we go. So the eyes are not fully closed. And I'm going to continue along and do this until I have a blinking animation. Okay, so I want to add a little bit of eye movement to this. So I'm going to switch out of cinematic mode so I can see the control board here. Okay, so I'm going to select the control I want. In this case, control center eye. And it's okay. The control is a little, as you can see, it only goes from one side to the other. If I disable snapping, we get that more natural movement. So what I'm going to do is move along some frames and then move the eyes. And then at this point, I want to set a key for this. Oh, it's already done it automatically because I have automatic keys selected. And now I'm just going to repeat like I did with the blinking and create some movement. Right. With that now complete, what I want to do is bake this animation sequence. So I select the face and bake to animation sequence. I'm going to choose where to save it and I will call this blink tutorial. Now, before we apply this to happen automatically, let me just export here. Let's check our animation saved correctly. There we go. Fine. Let's just switch into selection mode. Um, bring up our camera. There we go. And I want to close this sequence and open my main sequence here we go i already have some info uh, animations in here let me just clear some of this out see it 
Right, so what we're left with is this base animation. Let me open this up and show you. There is no keys. Um, maybe there's a slight head bend. I shouldn't, that shouldn't really be there. Now, what I would normally do is delete all these keys completely. All those curves will be gone, but I haven't done it in this instance. But yeah, so all I've got is this base animation. So what I want to do now is just add my blink just to show you, let me go back, there we go, so if I add my blink on top, that's what we get, but that's not what I want to do today, what I want to do is have that blink automatically all the time, and so I'm going to find my face on my MetaHuman Blueprint, come down to Anim Class, click the folder icon, open up face and MVP and I need to find a suitable place to make my changes. I'm going to come to the end of the chain here before arc it head rotation. And so let me just pull this node back slightly and I want to find a node and that node is additive. Apply additive. There we go. And what I'm going to do is hold down control and drag this connection and place it to the output of that new node. And then for base pose, I'm going to connect the previous node. And then for additive, I'm going to right click or drag off and right click. And I'm going to find blink tutorial. There it is. Play Blink Tutorial. Okay. Let me hit Compile. And that's it. That's playing. If we look in the viewport, though, there is a problem here. Our MetaHuman head has become giant. Okay, so let's fix this then. What I'm going to do is come over to the Details panel and find our sequence. Here it is, blink tut, and I'm going to open up our animation sequence. And what I want to do is scroll down um, on the asset details panel and go to additive settings and choose local space. You may want to experiment with this. I'll use your local space. And if I set to skeleton reference pose, as we can see, the neck kind of squashes and the spine contracts. Uh, that's not what we want. Um, so what we need to do is select animation scaled and at this point I'm going to choose my base animation here. Let's hit save. And as you can see our MetaHuman is now the normal size again. We can check out the results now. Our character is blinking without anything playing. And that is because of the changes we made in the animation blueprint. And you can build upon this, maybe add cheek movement, nose movement, eyebrows, etc, etc. For now though, I'm going to finish off this particular animation and I'm going to add some body animation, etc. If you would like to support the channel, you can go to the link in the description and buy me a coffee from buymeacoffee.com. Alternatively, you can click the thanks button underneath this video and help that way. More tutorials are on the way, but for now, could you please hit the like and subscribe button and comment below with any questions. I will see you in the next one.